me tell you, it's interesting. I, and I, I'll send you that, that write-up I did in the paper this week. SMEs, MSMEs, this micro and small um, medium enterprises. By the way, if you look at, and the figures published were the ones for 2020, um, the amount of money that was lent to them, it's about 20%. Out of the total amount of loans and advances given by these banks, what has gone through those who meet the statutory definition of MSME is about 20%. But when you look at also the non-performing loans, it's just about the same 20% from those guys. And in terms of risks, in fact, there are higher mm -hmm. risks in, in, in the other businesses mm -hmm. than in the micro and the small enterprise. Yes. Because of there so much checks and whatever appraisals that they put in place to ensure that you don't default as a small oh, business. Really. The yes. risk of default is lower in the MSCs than the other big businesses. By the Very house. true. And this Very is why true. you find all these big companies all the time under receiverships and whatever and whatever and because of, with all those appraisals or whatever, they suffer, they, they, they have more losses uh, carried. But, but you see, it's this, this is why Central Bank needs to put its foot down and say no. In the sense, yes. Why are you treating banks as a different, it's because this is business. Mm. It's business. Why do you want to control my price control in petroleum? I want to do my maze, you can put my price limit. I want to do my other things, but on this business, you say no, no come. I thought you forgot uh, about the maze. <laughs> no, no, I can't. No, 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 no. Let me just let, you, let me just bring this and thank you, Bilo, for 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 bringing this out because this is where, really, when you're talking of the micro and small enterprises, authority uh, 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 players there. The numbers don't lie. They are the bottom of the pyramid. There is about between 14 and 16 million people in that space. Now, if you are, even if you are to really take a chance on 16 million people and you get a 20% default rate on 16, on 16 million people, you are still doing very well. That is where the banks have missed out. They are able to give out uh, unsecured loans to people who are employed, but they will not give an unsecured loan to a furniture manufacturer in Gikomba or, or a Juakali fellow who is actually in the production space. He's actually manufacturing something to resell. That is a risky area. But somebody who's got a pay slip is able to walk to the bank and get an, uh, an unsecured loan. That is where the bank can put it another way. You see, the total loans they have given out at 2020, yeah. if you look at the banks uh, that report by CBK, it was yeah. about over 3 trillion. 80% yeah. of the businesses in this country are MSMEs. Yes. 80%. Yes. That 80%, the, out of that 3 trillion, they only got 636 billion. Imagine. Only 636 billion. The other 2 point something trillion is gone to those. 20%. Defaulters. Who are 20%. Well, that's what so, I mean, you, so it, clearly, you, the government might be saying we are going <coughs> to... And this government is also falling in the same trap mm. with this hustler thing, you know, <laughs> which I'm not happy with. Because <laughs> instead of addressing the MSMEs, <laughs> they have excluded them. The money is going to, to non-SMEs. You know, MSMEs have been defined in law. It, it have an act of parliament. Mm. It must start something like 500,000 is micro. Yeah. 500,000 uh, shillings uh, yeah, and yeah. above. Then it goes to 5 million, 100 million. Yes. It goes on like that. With the number of employees. You are doing a business of 1 million, 5 million. You are a small micro. What are you going to do with 10,000, 10,000, 20,000 from, from Hustler? It's not going to help you. You're not to going to take it. The guys who are going to take are the same full user guys. And the truth is, uh, just, just coming back to that, even this institutions that are making super normal profits, i.e. the banks, the telcos, are largely supported by uh, the SMEs, the, the, the micro and small. Those are the biggest numbers that either are using the phone, airtime, or fulizing, or, or transacting on m -Pesa. And so, if you ask me, the government ought to look at those telcos, look at those banks, and make a deliberate, deliberate effort to tell them, out of all this money that you made from this guy, you must inject a certain percentage back to that basic uh, institution that is the, the person who has actually been supporting you on telcos uh, on 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 on, on uh, Feliza and all that but if they don't do that if the government doesn't do that then this bottom of the pyramid continues to suffer and it will dwindle down and then st uh, the small um, small businesses start you know, dying Kipra did a study uh, Kipra yeah. presently mm -hmm. yes, yes yes and they're saying nearly 76 or around 80% mm. Of the MSMEs, their funding is from family sources. 
Yes. Yes. How many is the personal percentage? resources? That's true. Yeah. yeah. So it, it means less than twenty percent of 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 these smaller are able to attract funding from banks. So, so actually, the hustler funds locks out the SMEs as is because you say ten thousand to fifty thousand. I mean, yeah, that would be. I was I was so surprised because I no. thought that uh, it will really like open That's a step up. That's the step for Isa. So if you are looking to start to you exhaust with the hustler funds as it is. <laughs> but let me ask you from uh, when where is the guarantee scheme also uh, coming into play with the. Uh, with the uh, MSMEs, because mm. we have the guarantee scheme. The guarantee. How credit, does it operate? Credit, credit, credit guarantee scheme. guarantee scheme. Yeah, the credit guarantee scheme. There are banks which are participating. <laughs> the banks, it's also, it's banks also which are participating. So you go and take a loan as yes. an MSC from a bank. Yeah, they the government will guarantee twenty five percent of that yes. loan. Twenty five percent. So if I've taken a million, right. the government will guarantee two hundred fifty thousand. Um, but uh, it has not been, it has, it has only taken up to three, 3 billion only since it was launched a couple of years ago, 2020. And, it has not done very well because the banks, the banks still want their... They are still of us. They still want their rules will be followed. But 25% is still a very low percentage of Yes, it's low. In, In countries, countries it has gone to 100%, the yeah. guarantee by government. Mm -hmm. Yes. After COVID, many countries... Yes. And well, I really, 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 I'll send you. Yes, yes, it has gone to 100%. But I thought, I thought maybe the spirit of the PPP that we're talking about as well, the Hustler Fund, this would have been the way to go. That yes. to offer that money, then we have a guarantee yes. scheme from the government. Correct. Right. Give yes. the government 50%, 60% yes. guarantee. Yes. Yeah. The uptake would have been much higher. higher. You see, the, banks, the, banks, the, banks, the, banks, the banks still see this as very risky in terms of, okay, I've given uh, Boreo uh, 50 million. I am only assured that I can get 10 million back if Moreo defaults. That's a 20%. Now, if I'm not able to, to meet that, the exposure of the bank is 40, 40 million, which again they have to provide for. So the banks have, have looked at it and they said, I'd rather not get into this space. Let me do what I'm good at. I take the money to treasury <laughs> And and, 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 thingy, and 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 my interest. We, we but are they really? Again, uh, gentlemen, let's ask ourselves: Are these banks really just by going to invest in treasury bills and bonds? Are they doing what banking should be doing? And the answer is no. In fact, they've diversified into small, small. If you look at your statements now, you see all little charges. Transaction. If, if I'm transferring money from this account, my account here to this account, they charge me. If I'm paying this, they charge me. They have gone into another area which should not be their their, their business. They are not they doing what they do. Regulator again. Yeah. So, so regulator that actually has filled this country. I'm sorry to say this. Mm -hmm. He needs to. I think up the banks the need to look inward themselves. I've always problem. Uh, a support for banks to even start departments of what you call business intelligence if you use analytics. And you're having a, a big department looking the opportunities for banks. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see why banks should not be even engaging themselves in derivatives. Mm -hmm. you know? This kind of areas where they can open other areas and make uh, good money than what they're doing now. Mm -hmm. really, but the bank, they still perhaps, except now for the, the online trans, uh, transmission, they're still in the old thinking model where the things are moved to. If you look to banks which are moved, it's where they have a very strong business intelligence unit. And I can tell you, these are areas we probably need to invest in the next five years or so. Mm -hmm. Maybe they need to step back and look at that. This, 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 this one published today is one of the least investors in government security, Standard Chartered. Eh? Yes. Mm -hmm. The amount of uh, deposits or assets, uh, money they have invested in government securities, 111 billion. Under 11 that's billion. That's the poorest investor. That's why they've made almost 7.8 billion interest from it. So imagine these other ones, the big ones like KCB and Equity. Hundreds of billions. That's where the money is. And it's the government that's paying that interest. Mm. From your tax, from your tax, <laughs> from our taxes. <laughs> yes. yes. So, so <laughs> it's really convoluted. It's, 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 it's a very difficult situation. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Dibal, it's, it's the people who hold this a country's economy, the micro and small enterprises that really pay the ultimate price because they are the forgotten ones, they are the ones that have not been looked at seriously and I'm praying that this new regime is going to look at this very differently. But your organization, with respect to uh, Marie, yes. should, should hold Central Bank to account. If the MSC's rate of default 
it's, it's, it's even better than, uh, you yeah. know, non-performing loans are even yes. better than the, mm. the, for the other sectors. Why I, the you, central bank not putting pressure on the banks to lend? Uh, you know, because you have the figures. They're the ones who did those yeah, studies, yeah. Central mm. Bank. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Unfortunately, yeah. below, they, they say it's a free enterprise. The banks are, are free to do <laughs> what they want uh, with their money. Uh. But I think time has come for the regulator to actually decide. Now, if you want, I'm the one who's giving the license. 20% minimum of your lending must go to this sector to support it. And, and the government should encourage that because if the bottom of this pyramid grows, they have a bigger tax bracket but, but, to collect taxes But that point of from. a free economy, and I think Iraq has brought it's it firm, free, yeah. it must have a sense of responsibility. Yes. Because there are certain areas you have deliberately to protect. Yes. If you look at the supply economics, and probably they changed the narrative in the world, uh, Thatcher and Ligon, they actually came from the demand economics to supply. They say even we go to supply, there are certain institutions. Yes we must protect. Absolutely. And that's what I'm saying in this country. There are certain areas, even in the free market, you must protect. Because it touches on a Mwanainchi, who perhaps we don't have the capacity. That. And SME, to me, is an area where... Mm -hmm. and, and, and this morning, I don't know why, this city market here, mm -hmm. as you're coming here, you can see it's a beehive of activity. Yes. Yeah. It's vegetable with flowers. Those are the people really building. And they are here early. You're talking about they are here before at 4:30. Mm -hmm. So there's certain areas, free market, but I think with certain uh, the sense of responsibility as a responsible government mm -hmm. has to come in. Right. I, I, we, I, want, we're I, want remove, I want to remove the word protect and use the word maybe nurture. There are certain sectors that must be nurtured to grow, not to protect them. Mm -hmm. yeah, and in nurturing them, of babysitting them. Yeah, and in nurturing them, you also actually widen, yeah, you, you, you increase your tax bracket That's in true. terms of people who then Absolutely. start doing well. That's true. And they move on to tax paying. I think, but they are still putting pressure on government even when they are not paying tax. Mm -hmm. So you might as well encourage them to get into serious business.